Summer rapidly coming to an end for kids in Knox County. Good evening. Glad you're here for WVLT News at 6 o'clock. I'm Ted Hall. And I'm Casey Wheelis. Thursday, the first official day back at the third largest school district in Tennessee. Let's get to our uh, Will Puckett here. Will, this morning, they got you got to look at security improvements in the district. How is KCS going to make these changes and what changes are we talking about? Well, Ted, just to start off, more fencing and reinforced barriers at the schools. KCS says they have spent money this summer to address school security first and foremost. This morning, the district hosted its Safe Schools, Safe Students news conference. They do before they go back to school every year. Flanked by law enforcement across the county, Knox County Schools officials discussed improvements at keeping nearly 60,000 students safe. One of the biggest tools they're touting right now for reporting school threats and bullying is an app where students and parents can remain anonymous while reporting school threats, mental health concerns, and bullying at any hour of the day to Knox County Schools officials. And they have problems and those worries can be investigated. A lot of times, you know, we get the information's brought to parents' attention after hours, and that's been problematic because they didn't know who to call. Um, obviously, there's, uh, you know, administrators are, are out of the school at that point. So a lot of times there's, there was a gap between who, is, who we would notify. Saying by developing this app, they feel they have sewn that gap up and don't have any of those loose ends left. Now, the app again is intended to address school threats first and foremost, but it's also available for again threats. But also if a kid's been bullied or parents have heard of a bullying situation, they can report that new state law dictates that the district has to investigate bullying reports within 24 hours. And so they believe this will speed that process up there too. Will Knox County kids go back Thursday? This app will be ready then. Yeah, every laptop students across the county get will already have the app installed. Now for parents and guardians, if you have a Google phone or an Apple phone, those will be in those app stores. They say Google's ready to go right now. The Apple app store should be by Thursday. All right, well, thanks. Of course, the first day of school right around the corner in Knox County. Some of you still not back, but you can trust us to help you make the transition back to class smooth. Scan this QR code. You can get started by just doing that. Our WVLT News app has what you need to make you feel prepared from device policies to how to track school bus stops and more. We're here to help you folks.